Welcome back, everyone. Twitch is here, and I am back yet again with yet another DC Multiverse video. And today, courtesy of my friends over at McFarlane Toys, we have an advanced look at their upcoming Mr. Freeze action figure. Look at them all chilling inside that box. Now, as you see on the side of the box, Mr. Freeze, oddly enough, spelled all the way out. And boy, am I glad that uh, we did not get this version of Mr. Freeze. So that's that's just fine and dandy right there here's the barcode as well hopefully you'll start seeing him around february now this particular costume look hails from a recent detective comics number 1027 and you can see him right there on the back side of clayface it's not spot on spot on but it's pretty darn close and if you look at his freeze gun and everything else it's pretty darn cool i really wish we would have gotten this particular look by this artist that would have been awesome so in either case this is going to be fun sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee this is a look at the brand new mcfarlane toys dc multiverse the one the only the coldest villain in town mr freeze and while I got all you Ferris Boils here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my DC Multiverse videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old Toys, New Toys, Daily News Updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Now, here is Mr. Freeze, all out of the packaging. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I was very excited to discover the features of this figure because they're not really apparent, first and foremost. The ice effect does come out of the gun, it is kind of glued in there, but then kind of not because you kind of just pull it out of the gun itself. It's really easy. The gun is amazing. So they got away with it. Ha! Take that, Warner Brothers. <laughs> yes, you can pop the freeze effect in and out at your leisure, and it looks awesome. Mr. Freeze without a gun would have been just the dumbest thing ever. So well done. I dig it. I like the freeze effect. I like the gun itself. That's awesome. Now, this was a particular fun find as I was going, oh, wait a minute, how do I move the head? <gasps> the dome comes off. Yeah, the dome does come off. It just kind of slots right in there. And on Mr. Freeze himself, it's actually a pretty cool figure. I'm very happy with it overall. I think there's one nitpick for this. I know you probably are always going to nitpick something. Well, I'm going to tell you honestly. But just as a standalone bad guy, villain, DC Batman's Rogues Gallery, Mr. Freeze looks awesome. And I love the red that they've chosen. I like all the different sculpted elements. They really went to town with his freeze suit. The red really helps. Different multicolored hues of just somberness, right? Down to his belt and a little bit of an aqua green. The white shoulder pads to the black. The black really helps break it up. The one problem I would say is I really don't like what they did here. It just looks really weird. Like, is he wearing shorts underneath black pants, right? How does that work? Wouldn't that whole part have to be black? It just seems really odd. He put underwear over whatever he's wearing, so it just really doesn't fit. If they would have left that out, I would have been totally fine. Now, down to his big clod hopper boots. Those are actually pretty cool. It has a lot of sculpted detail. It has peg holes on the bottom of his feet. You can help him stand really well with the stand. And the backside is cool because you get to see the freeze tanks and they're not perfect. They're all dented, they're all scratched up. That's a nice little sculpted added detail. And I totally like that. Going into the hoses, be very careful the hoses on the sides, they're very hard plastic. And I don't want you moving it wrong and pulling it out. They're glued to his costume, but you know what I mean. And I love the head sculpt on him. I think it looks great with the red goggles. That's just fantastic. Very nice overall. The skin tone, very nice. It works well with the costume. And you get a nice amount of head articulation under the dome, which is very cool. Of course, you're going to have to remove the dome every time you want to move his head. But it totally works. And just make sure you get that one little notch right there. And that hooks in. Bingo, bango. You got yourself a really cool domed Mr. Freeze. So that's awesome to see. Very happy with that. I love that the dome is removable. Now, the articulation as far as the arms, the shoulders, the double jointed. He's got the trigger finger with the gun, which the gun has a trigger. And it's not a gun gun, it's a freeze gun. And like I said, it would have looked so ridiculous if Mr. Freeze 
did not have a gun. Freeze does have a little bit of ab articulation, kind of, sort of. He more so swivels. I do like the subtle nods to Batman the Animated Series that this costume has, especially in the belts, the legs. They work. They got some double-jointed knees. Not only does he have toe and feet, but he also has boot rotation as well. That's a nice little added feature, right? Maybe we can get some thigh action going. Two doesn't have to be on every figure, but that would certainly be nice. So uh, I'm kind of stoked that they added a little extra in there with the boots. Now, in terms of holding the gun, because of the articulation, he can hold it with both of his hands, and that looks great. Let's go ahead and kick that snow effect back on, because that is... Mr. Freeze right there. I think the only thing that would be missing is some big, huge, icy particle effects, right? That would have been awesome. But no, I'm very happy with the way that this came out because of the ice being removal, because of the dome being removal, because of the articulation that he can hold the gun in many different ways. That's Mr. Freeze right there. So totally works for me. Now, in terms of the scalature, most Batmans that I have in the collection from McFarlane's DC Multiverse fit. So I see Batman as being around the same height with the dome and everything else. Yeah, totally works for Mr. Freeze. For the smaller type characters, he is taller. So that totally works. So if you got a little bit of Young Justice is starting, maybe Impulse is on his way. That would be even better. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse. Mr. Freeze, and you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Mr. Freeze. The other nitpick I think I'll point out is the way that they spelled out Mr. on the box. Now, I know it's kind of gone both ways in comic books, but Mr. Dot Freeze is Mr. Freeze. You can't argue with me on that. So, I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, keep bringing on the Batman villains. If they're anything like this, well, then 2023, we're off to a great start. When we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.